Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this session we'll discuss about working directories, staging area and git repository. So as we have seen previously we have tried to add some objects in git repository. That is the last step where you try to push or you try to add something to the git repository where it is saved. So we have seen how to add a blob object and how to add a tree object as well and also we have seen the mapping that is there in tree object where you can have uh, the file name and you can have you know blob as well as trees present under a single tree object. So that was done all in the previous video. If you are not aware about that, please go and check my previous video for more details. So in this session, we'll discuss more on, as I said, working directory, staging area and git repository. So working directory is nothing but the local repository where we are currently working on. So for instance, if you are working on, let's say on your C, repo C drive, where you have some code where you have, you know, created uh, some changes where you want to push it to git, uh, git repository. In that case, the local repository for that will be a working directory where you're currently working for a particular project where you might do a lot of changes and you want to push it to the repository. So that is in short called working directory. So the staging area is nothing but an intermediate step in between working directory and git repository. So for instance, if you want to push something to a git repository from the local or the working directory, it has to pass through a staging area that is a mandatory step which we cannot skip. We'll see in details why exactly the staging area is required in coming sessions. But as I told, staging area is a mandatory step and it is required for anything to go from working directory to git repository and also from git repository to working directory. If you want to get something out, let's say you want to check out something from git repository, it has to pass via staging area as well. So that's why it is a very mandatory step for, you know, for anything. Details will follow up in the upcoming session. Talking about Git repository, as, as we have seen previously, we have tried to add multiple objects in Git repository where it gets stores. So we have also seen, let's say, while uh, trying to add a file with a name, let's say file one, which was having some text after it was added and in the Git repository, even if we tried deleting the content of uh, the file that was present in local repository, the content is still persist in Git repository. It means it was saved in Git repository and it was handled in there only. So that's in short about all the three areas that is working directory, staging area and Git repository. Now let's dive deep into this and cover our today's agenda. So we'll be working on the current area as we discussed that is working directory, staging area and Git repository. And we will see how to check how many contents are present in a staging area with the command called git space ls hyphen files. Then we'll see how to add some files into the staging area from Git repository. That is, we'll see something coming from Git repository to staging area by using the command called git read hyphen tree space hash command. And then again, we'll see how to add files to working directory from staging area. That is from here to here, that's called a checkout command. So we'll use git checkout index hyphen space hyphen a. So we'll be seeing this in today's session. So let's get started. So I'll open my terminal. Uh, let me clear this out and go back. So as you have seen in my previous session, I am already having git repository in my local desktop. So I'll just navigate to that. So I'll type cd space desktop space the repo name and I'll just show you. So we can see we already have a dot git folder over here which contains some content. So I'll show you in the browser or in the folder structure. So if you can see here, this is the git repository in my desktop as I've shown you and it contains this folder structure and it has some contents of object that's already present. So these and all are already created as a part of a previous uh, step. So that's one thing. So we'll do one thing in the previous video, we have seen how to create a tree object. If you have seen my previous session, please go ahead and check how to create a tree object because this is a continuation of that. So we'll follow the same. So we'll try to add something to a staging area from Git repository by using uh, the command that is over here. Uh, that is git space read hyphen tree space hash. And as of now, in a, in a previous session, we have seen the hash for a particular tree uh, was starting with 8f and uh, cc and then ending at 820. So I'll just show you again what exactly it is. So we have seen how to check the content of a git object by using git cat file. And uh, we know that this object from a previous session is a 
tree object so i'll just quickly copy the name and i'll type the st so okay so it's a block so let me try again so i'll give the name as git cat file and i believe this is the object so let me try once so i'll just copy the content and type t so yes so as you can see this is one tree object that we have already created starting with f5 and ending with 224 so it's of a type um, t and we can just check the content of the file as well so if i type space uh, hyphen p it will show the content so you can see it's pointing to two blob objects over here the reference of the blob or the hash of the blob is uh, 0cc and the other one is 8fcc so this is a tree object as i shown so we can just um, take this object as of now and see how to add this object from git repository to a staging so as it is already committed it means it's already present in our uh, uh, git repository so we'll just use the command that is shown over here so the command uh, so would we'll do one thing before starting that we'll first see if we have anything present in our staging area so for that we have type git space ls space file hyphen file so you can see this is the command that we're trying to execute if I hit enter, you can see there is nothing displayed over here. It means there is nothing present in the staging area. So for adding anything from Git repository to staging area, we have to type a command that is present over here, which is git read hyphen tree space hash. So I'll type git read hyphen tree space hash. So we have the hash of this. This is of a tree object. So I'll paste it here and hit enter. So now it is pushed from Git repository to staging area which means initially the object or the tree object was present over here in the git repository now we are pushing it from git repository to the staging area to make it available in work uh, working directory and we have already discussed that staging area is a mandatory step for anything which passes either from working directory to git repository or from git repository to working directory so now we'll again do a check of by doing a git ls files command so it will display if there is anything present in the staging area and yes you can see there are two files present with the name file1 and file2 so you can see this is the one that is already present uh, now with the checkout so now we have two files present in the staging area and now we'll do one thing now we are at staging area we'll see if we can push something out of the staging area and move it to working directory so before moving there we'll do one thing we'll check our git repo and see if there is any file present with the name so we'll just minimize this so you can see this is a git repository where we're working in and we can see it here so you can see this is the git repository name git repo the git repo is here so there is no file present with the name file1.txt and file2.txt so now we'll do one thing we'll execute our command and push something from staging area or push the files file1.txt and file2.txt from staging area to working directory and then we'll again see if it is present in the git repo or not so now we'll execute the command that is git checkout hyphen index space hyphen a so i'll just type git checkout hyphen index space hyphen a so now with the hyphen a command it will push all the content of the staging area to the working directory so if you want to do specific to some files we'll see it in the upcoming videos but this will do the entire uh, checkout from staging area to working directory you hit enter and now everything is pushed from staging area to working directory so we have seen the checkout has been done and we are able to move the files from staging area to our working directory and that works fine so now we'll do one thing we'll do an ls and see so you can see now the two files that is file 1.txt and file 2.txt are present in the working directory i will go back to my folder and show you see now these two files are present which was not there previously so now you can just open if you want to see what exactly is present under here so you can just see it contain the initial commit that we have done in our previous videos and that's it so we can see now this is done so now if you try to do a git checkout again hyphen index hyphen a so it will say like the file are already present and no checkout it means like the checkout is already done and the files are present in your working directory from the git repository via staging area so that's it for today's video Thanks a lot for watching. Please do like, subscribe my channel.